Yo what's up guys, it's the Ecom Zone here and today I'm going to help you guys boost your add to cart conversion rates by simply styling your add to cart buttons with CSS. So the impact of optimizing your website. On the right here you can see two online store conversion rates. The top one is one of my viewers that I'm helping and the bottom one is mine. As you can clearly see, her add to cart is around 1.74% and it drops to about 50-60% and then people drop off completely at the checkout. And here's mine at four, near 4% 4 at add to cart and then reach checkout is at 3% nearly and then sessions converted around one2 So the difference between the top and bottom store is about 5x or even 6x. So whatever profit the top store makes, I make 6x on top. And this is why it's so important to optimize your website and your funnel. So here are a few benefits of styling your website. First is your website will look way different from the rest of your competitors. Two, you streamline your customer journey. Three, you increase page view times. Four, you increase add to cart conversion rates. You can also increase initiate checkout conversion rates, which leads to an increase in purchases and profit. And last but not least, you improve your brand look and feel. So in this video, we're only going to look at styling your add to cart specifically to increase your conversion rates. So why is it so important to fix your conversions? Let's say you spend $10,000 on ads per month and there are two scenarios. Scenario 1, you spend 10,000, you get 80,000 visitors. Your add to cart conversion rate is around 2%. So only 1,600 people really add to cart. And then initiate checkout conversion rate is about 1%, which is about right. It should always be a near 50% of your add to cart. So if your add to cart is around 10%, then your initiate checkout should be around 5%. And so here in this case is 800 people checking out. And then purchases is only 0.2% checking out, which is only 160 people. If your average order value is around $40, this, this works out to be around $6,400 made. And guys, this is unprofitable. As you can see here, you spent $10,000 on ads and you only made $6,400 in sales. And without including product costs, you're already down $3,600. So in scenario B, your advertising cost is the same, $10,000. Your visitors is also the same. You get 80,000 visitors for the month. Your ad cart conversion rate, however, is at 5%. So that's 4,000 people checking out and they're adding to cart. And now to check out is 2%. So 1,600 people check out. And then 1% of people purchase. So 800 people times $40 is around $32,000 in sales. And that means without including product costs, you're up $22,000 in profit. Now this is amazing news. And this is why it's so important to increase your add to cart rates. From just as mere 2% to 5%, you make a difference of from a 3,600 loss to a 22,000 profit. So let's compare your add to cart buttons. On the left, this is someone I'm helping on Reddit and they run a store called Azico. And I actually have made a video auditing their store on my YouTube channel. She made two sales after making a few changes and we're on track to making more. So first things first is when you look at these two. On the left we got her store and on the right we got Target. Which button, add to cart button is more prominent? Left or right? Simple answer is on the right. That bold red button is just is popping. Like you just can't miss it. And this is why it's key to make your add to cart button bold with white text. And the problem with uh, Shopify right now is that it's not making this easy for you guys. And you actually have to style it with CSS. And here are a few other stores that I want to go through to show you guys what other big e-commerce brands have for their product pages. They have a title, product price, their reviews for the product, the size of variance and add to bag in, in black. Apple, you go through the entire process add to bag in blue this is walmart add to cart button in blue and it follows the same colors as the navigation bar next is target which i just showed you add to cart is big and red and lastly asos add to bag is green 
This is why it's so important to bold out your add to cart button. So back to our slide. First thing first is accessing your code on your Shopify store. You want to click on the online store on the left here and click on the menu button over here on step two. Step three, you want to edit code. You are editing your code for your website and this is at your own risk. But if you follow my steps, you're unlikely to make any mistakes. So next step, search for the style or CSS file in the top left. So right here, I've typed in style and it's under my assets folder. Scroll all the way down on this file here. So I clicked style.css.liquid, scrolled all the way down. And number two, I'm going to add this note here and just call it my customizations. This is where you'll write your CSS code. So first is finding the button you want to update. And in this case, we're trying to find the add to cart button. And I'm actually going to do this live. So let's get out of this. I'm going to go to her website, which is this one here. So let's head over to her product page. And as you can see, her add to cart button is white background with blue text. It doesn't even follow her theme. Like everything is pink and cute. So what we need to do now is trying to find this add to cart button in your inspect element tool. So you right click the page, press inspect. And if that doesn't work for you guys because you disabled right click on your store, you go up to more tools up here and click developer tools. And when I go to here, this button in the top right, you click on this one here. So you dock it on the right hand side. So it's not in your way. If you have a small screen, then you might have to make use of the pop up. And to do that, you just go out and you click this one. You see? So I'm going to dock it to the right there. The next button you want to click is this one up here. And this basically lets you select anything on the screen, as you can see here. So we're going to identify the add to cart button, which is this. However, this isn't just the add to cart button. Like, you have a whole div class here. So here is the div class for both the add to cart and buy with gpay i'm going to go down to the next one here as you can see so this one is the add to cart button and this is for the buy it now button so we found the button now what we want to do is test the element style here so usually it is this top one here so what we're going to do is change this all you're going to do is left click here and then It'll add a little space for you to type and what we want to do is just go background black and you see it's changed to black and now we want to do color for the text as white and now we still have this blue border which is a bit more tricky because you actually have to hunt for white where this blue border is coming from and usually css is very basic like is is very intuitive to learn like border padding cursor font you see and so what we need to do is ah this button here so i was just going like through like this right trying to see what it is and there we go we found it it was a border offset so what we need to do now is copy this class this styling here we're going to bring it up we're going to click left click on here again to add a space Paste that in and then write border offset none. And there we go, guys. Look at that. If your button's small, then I suggest you put a height and then you can write 50 pixels. And for me, I can show you like how it looks. See, 100 is big, 40, you can't really do smaller because they have a minimum. So we'll just leave it at 50 pixels for now. So there's your CSS styling for this class. Now, what do you want to do with this? Remember, this isn't actually editing your website physically. This is just looking at your website on the live um, web. And you're just making changes that aren't going to impact your website. And you're just testing it. So we're going to copy this now. Copy this whole thing. Highlight it. Control C. We're going to go back to our CSS file, this thing here on your Shopify. You're going to copy the CSS styling and you're going to paste it here. As you can see, look, product form underscore underscore submit. You just paste it in and that's it. Make sure you have the opening bracket here and the closing bracket. 
these are the squiggly brackets remember it's not the normal curved ones you press save and you go back to your website refresh and check what you change if there's a glitch on your website go back to your css file and delete this code and then press save now that's just the bare basics of how you style buttons so yeah that's how you simply change your css code for your buttons and it will really help push your add to cart conversion rates and in the end your profit i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial smash the like button and subscribe for more content like this if you have any questions regarding e-commerce just let me know and i'll be here to help peace